Welcome to the Minecraft Education Edition, or Minecraft EDU. Today we're going to go over how to do a lesson in Minecraft. This is the EDU homepage, education.minecraft.net. If we scroll down, we can see some lessons and other things on the website. So, we could download it, but I've already done that, we don't have to worry about it. We're going to go to Class Resources and hit Find the Lesson. Uh, we're going to select History and Culture, but of course, if you're teaching something else, you can pick any option, or even do a custom search. So now we can see here we have a bunch of modules that people have created. So we're going to scroll over and we're going to hit the Round City of Baghdad as our module, just because this is one that I tend to, that I liked. Uh, we hit View Lesson. And once it pops up, we'll be able to see the lesson. So now we can see the lesson. Uh, it's 8 to 10, 11 to 13, and 14 to 18, so really it's 8 to 18 years old. Uh, it covers history, reading and writing, as well as religion and philosophy. If we scroll down, we can see the learning objectives that this lesson is meant to hit. I'll go ahead and select them. Uh, we can also see the skills that should be developed. And we can see some uh, guiding ideas, some questions for the students that they should be asking themselves as they explore the module. If we scroll down a little bit, we have, so we have more guiding ideas here. If we scroll down a little bit, we have student activities. There's the activities the students will be doing in the module. Uh, so like research and stuff. And then if we scroll down even more, we can see the performance expectations, which is some expectations, what students should be able to have done. Um, so if we go here... Uh, this module was created by John Miller. He's created a lot of the really good modules, at least the history ones that I've seen. So here we can download the Minecraft world. Uh, we also have some some good links here. So we have stuff about uh, the House of Wisdom. We have stuff about Islamic architecture. Uh, so I'll see you guys once we've uh, once I've downloaded everything and loaded up into Minecraft. Okay, so now we are we open Minecraft. So we just go in and we select the world that we want to explore. Uh, so here we're going to select the Baghdad world. It's also the only one that I have loaded so far and we'll just spawn in okay so now we've spawned in you can see we have a few items but more importantly we can see the main mosque in the round city uh, there are, if we go over we can fly over there uh, we can see there are there are some like monsters in there but that's just because it's minecraft and at night uh, you can turn off the monsters in settings because obviously they're not historically accurate. Uh, so now we can go explore the city. Uh, flying around like this, you really get a feel for the architecture of the time period and culture. Uh, we can also, we can also, if we go here, we can walk the city streets and really see what the 8th century inhabitants of Baghdad would have seen. So I'll just go ahead and drop down here. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the mosque and explore that a bit. You can really see how commanding of a building it is in the center of the round city and how it really showcases the power of the Abbasid Caliphs. If we look at the architecture here, you can see the uh, influence of the Islamic architecture. You can also see just how detailed Minecraft worlds can be. Uh, this is actually one of the less detailed modules. Uh, this is 1 to 2 scale. So, there are modules that are 1 to 1 scale, so they'll be twice as detailed as this one. So that's Minecraft EDU. There's so much that can be done in here, including coding and map making. I'm interested in an incredible educational tool to be used in the classroom.